Hello friends, welcome back to my channel again, Code With Me. In this session of HTML programming language, we will be discussing about another interesting topic of HTML that is style attributes. So friends, what is this style attributes? As the content only signifies the style attributes is to provide a different type of styles to a particular context web page. It might be an element or color, font size, style attributes is used in order to give a style to a particular web page a look more very visible and attractive so in this session of style attributes we'll be coming across how do you make use of background color text color fonts text size and text alignments okay so uh, before any wasting time let's directly skip to the coding part so friends, we want to note down the points which I have written below. Request you to kindly pause the video and note down all the points. Okay. And for for the instance, I'll be taking this these things and directly start with the coding part. Okay. So usually it starts with HTML. HTML. Okay. And followed by HTML. Yes. So in for by posing. So instead of the HTML, I'll be making use of head tags. Okay. And followed by closing of the head tag. Inside this head tag, I'll be writing giving me a title. Style attributes. So now you can clearly see here I have successfully written head tags and title tags. I was thinking about body. Okay. So inside this body, I'll be writing a statement. Okay. For example, um, paragraph. HTML is a markup language. So I end this using a closing paragraph tag. So friends, you know, I can clearly see here. Now I have written the basic of this HTML program. Okay. So when I run the program, I'm sorry. And just a second, friends. So friends, when I execute the program, it will display the thing what I have written inside this paragraph tag. HTML is a markup language. I'm sorry. So when I run the program, as soon as it is, it's showing us HTML is a markup language. So friends, now I want to add the styles. How do I add it? Now listen carefully, friends. Now, now I'll start with the background color. As I was saying, the style attributes, style attributes. So it usually starts with style. So now clearly see here inside this body opening tag, I'll be making use of style. Okay, followed by background color. Inside this, I'll make use of a pair of brackets. Okay, inside this background hmm, color, I'm sorry, background color. I'll give, uh, let me guess, for instance, I'll be giving us blue. Okay. And it's semicolon. So, okay, friends, now when I try to execute the program, you clearly see here the background of this particular page is completely changed to blue. Now this is how you give a background color to the background. Now if I want to give a background color to this particular context only HTML is a markup language, how should I do it friends? I'll just take this thing, style equals background, okay, and I'll copy this and then remove for instance. And I will teach it inside this paragraph tag. Okay. So when I try to execute this program, friends, you can clearly see here only this particular HTML markup language this particular line is completely turned as blue so this is how you give a background color to your particular context or your web pages okay now now i want to change the color of the text now, now let's speak about text color so how do i do this text what i will do is friends i'll just take this thing background and that it as text color okay so if i Make use of, or you might give it as only as color. 
when I run the program, you can clearly see here HTML is markup language. Only this particular colors is changed into blue. Okay, now if I want to change this color as red, let's see what happens, friends. See, the context is changed to red. Now, can, uh, for example, I'll give another color. It's gold. Let's see what happens, friends. Let's change to the gold. This is how you give colors to the text. No, so now friends, now I want to give the fonts to the text. How shall I give it? Should I make use of fonts using a particular style attributes only? That's yes. Now listen carefully friends, I'm going to give a particular font style to this particular HTML markup language. For better clarity, I'll be making use of only red only. So you'll have clear visibility of the text. This is a markup language, okay. I'm sorry. Yeah, now I want to change the font. Okay, but for instance, I'll be removing this, removing this, and we'll give a font style. For example, font family. So if you want, uh, you can wish you can give anything. If you want, if you don't know the font family, you can go to the Word. I mean, Microsoft Word, and pick out the type of the font family required and paste it here. For instance, I'll be giving us Word on. Okay, friends. Now, when I execute here. Let's see what happens first. You clearly see here that the scale of this particular text is successfully changed. Okay, so this is how you give the font style. Okay, now I want to change the font size. How shall I do it, friends? What I will do, I'll just take this thing, okay, and we'll make it as font size. Okay, friends. And one more thing, friends, font five font size usually is defined in a percentage manner for example i'll be giving yes 100 percent when i try to run the program let's see what happens when it is showing us 100 percent now what happens i'll make it as 300 percent now let's see what happens when i run the program you can please see here the size of this particular context is increased this is how you give the font style it is left to you whether you want to now if i give let me guess i can, i'll give you as 350 let's see what happens I'm sorry. Again. When I run the program, it will get even more bigger. This is how this is how you give font I mean text size to a particular font text. So friends, for instance, I'll be giving case 100 only. Hmm. So now you can clearly see here, friends, the HTML in this output area it is showing in the left left side of the corner. Now I want to align it. Now I want to align this particular sentence into a center how should i do it friends listen carefully friends i'll be making use of alignment i'll just take this thing okay test align for example example i'll give, I'll give it uh, give it a center when i run the program you can clearly see here the alignment of the html is came to center part now I want to make it as right. I'll change to right. Let's see what happens for it. So it is aligned to right side. Now I want to give to left. Now let's see what happens. For it. Left, it came to this side. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, it's a default. Center. When I run the program, you can clearly see here. System and friends. I'm sorry, there's a slight disconnect in the network issues for that reason. So, this is how you come across the text alignment. So, friends, I hope you have come across how do you make use of background color for the particular body and the text and the text color, fonts, text size, and even the text alignments. So, this is how you make use of style attributes to your contexts and your web pages. So friends, if you have any doubt regarding the style attributes on tags, request you to kindly pin down your doubts in the comment section. We'll definitely repair you back. And if you like this video, request you to kindly please like, share and subscribe. Thank you very much for having a nice day. Thank you for watching this video. Keep smiling. Have a nice day.